first epistle of John, right over near the end of the Bible, chapter 5, this is what John says. Verse 4, Whosoever is born of God overcomes the world. That's a good statement, isn't it? Whoever is born of God overcomes the world. If you're not born of God, then the world is going to run over you. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. So this is God dwelling in us. To be born of God, what does it mean? When Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again in our Bible. The word should really be born from above because that's what it means. To be born from above means that our birthing in, in, the, in the first instance of our being born into this world, that was being born of a woman, born from the earth. But he says you must be born from above. That means a spiritual birth now, of course, he's not talking about being birthed as we were the first time in, in a mother's womb. But he is talking about our birthing out of God himself, to be birthed into the Christ of God. That's what it means to be born again. It's, the word again is miscon, uh, it's a misconception because people just think, oh, well, it's just like another birth, you know, you ask Jesus to come into your heart and you're born again. No, no, it's got nothing to do with that kind of stuff. This is a consciousness that must come into our hearts and into our minds, a consciousness that I am a creature from another world, and so are you. Every one of us are not just creatures of this earth. See, if you're being born uh, from your mother's womb, as we all have, that makes us citizens of this earth. But you see, we are the children of God. We are the children of God. Well, no child of God has been born on the earth. The only people that have been born on the earth are children of this world. In other words, whatever my parents were, that's what I am. Was my parents God? No. They were mortal human beings. So what could they reproduce? They could just reproduce a mortal human being. That's what you and I are, you see? So Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born from above. This is another consciousness. This is our mind being renewed to understand that you and I are not just creatures of this world. We actually belong to another world, which is the realm of spirit. That's where God lives. And that's what it means to be born again. Right? You understand this? Because this is very important. You see, religious world has messed this up for us. And what do they say? Give your heart to Jesus believe he died for you on the cross, confess your sin, ask him to come into your heart, now you're born again, you're a child of God. I don't think so. That's not even in the Bible. Jesus said you must be born from above. In other words, we must have a consciousness that our true origin, that is where we came from, is not from this world at all. We came from another world, which is the world of spirit. And that's where God dwells, you see? So we must, that must be our true consciousness, not just a thought in our head, but we must recognize that is who I am. This is what he says now. Listen to this. Verse 10. He that believeth on the Son of God has the witness in himself. See? Now, religion says, we will tell you when you're born again. And if you've been baptized, we'll give you a certificate to prove that. And when you're born again, 
or you give your heart to Jesus, well, we give you another certificate and that will, you know, guarantee that that's right for you. You see, that's got nothing to do with it. This is a spiritual business that we do with God where we understand that our origin is not from this world. He says, he that believeth on the Son of God has the witness in himself. Why? Because if I am born of God, I know I'm born of God. Why? Because does a child know that they are born into this world? Of course. They don't, they're not thinking about perhaps they were born into another uh, country or another nation. No, no, no. They, were, they know where they were born. And so that birthing is, is uh, confirmed to us. We look at our mother and our father and that's where we get the impression of who we are. And I say, yeah, that's right, that's my mum and dad. And I'm just the chip off the old block, <laughs> if you like. Now that does not constitute you a son of God. Because that's a birthing from the earth through your parents. And you are the product of an egg and a sperm. The truth is that you and I were born or created long, long before we were ever born on this earth. You see? We were, we were created in Christ Jesus back in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. That's our real, that's our true origin. Everybody, everybody that's ever been born on this earth, that was where they began. That was where their life began. And you see, our birthing there was not as a baby, as a, a mortal human being, but our birthing there, out of God, was spirit. Because when God said, let us make man, there was the man, but what was the man? He was spirit. So here's our, our problem. What are you today? Are you a mortal human being, or are you a child of God? And the difference is simply, where were you born? Where were you birthed? If you were simply birthed from this earth, but you've never had a spiritual birth, that is, you've never truly understood that you came out of God. When you believe that, when you understand and believe that, then you are born from above. You are a child of God from the spirit world. You see? Now, that's, that's what makes the difference in our life down here. Some people have just, you know, they go through life with problem after problem after problem, sometimes with sickness, sometimes with circumstances, sometimes with their marriage, and, you know, all kinds of things happen. And we think, well, that's natural. You know, everybody has to go through something or other. The truth is that when we truly understand that we've been born from above, that means that I am spirit and I belong to this other world. In this other world, there is no sickness. There is no pain. There is no suffering. There is not even any death. There's no death in that, in that spiritual world. That's where God is. And we actually are birthed into that world. That's what it means to be born again. We are citizens of another country. This world is not my home. You know that old Negro spiritualist saying, this world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. Well, that was the song anyway. But see, this is the reality of it. And he says that when you believe that you are truly born from above, he said, then you will have the witness in yourself. Nobody has to tell you, or nobody needs to tell you. I know I've been born from above because there are aspects of my life which are not part of this world. 